All right, today we have the Hario Mugen Drip Brewer System. Uh, only $5 if you're in Japan and buying it there. Uh, about $12 or $13 for the black resin mold you see here in the U.S. Uh, looks like a V60, but it isn't. If you look inside, there's no ribs. It's all solid. It's all flat. There's a few air channels here uh, to allow air to escape, but there's no ribs. It does, however, use the V60 paper filter, uh, which we're going to put in now. And as our cal comes to boil, first we're going to do what you should do with every paper filter uh, brewing device, and that is saturate the paper. This is called rinsing it. Also serves an additional purpose with the Mugen. It adheres the paper filter to the sidewalls. So here I'm giving that a quick rinse. We'll let it train out. Dump off this uh, very hot water that we're not using for brewing. And now we are ready to grind coffee at it and do our brew. Over here, I'm using the, uh, the Breville Smart Grinder Pro, which is a fantastic multi-purpose grinder. I've kind of dialed it in, set for 39 for the grind size, which is right sort of in the middle of the drip range. So, for this, uh, I'm following Hario's recipe mostly. I'm adding 25 grams of coffee, as you can see, uh, it's you know it's it's like a V60 grind, maybe a tad tad finer, uh, and I'm adding 25 grams as per Hario's recommended dose for 300 mil brewing. Let's see, oh we're getting really close. Look at that. Oh there you go, 25.8, just a little over. Now that that's set up, uh, we're gonna zero out our timer again. Now the thing is with this brewer. You want to add all your brewing water right away, 15 seconds, 300 mils, get it in there. And then you're basically walking away. And, and Hario, with their recommended uh, brewing parameters, they say 90 seconds for the drawdown time. That's with a darker roast. With this lighter roast that we have from Social Coffee today at Costa Rica, I'm aiming for about a 2 minute to 2 minute 10 second drawdown time. And here we go. Don't forget to start the timer. And pour. We're pouring really aggressively here. This is actually part of the agitation and the saturation and sort of overall initial sort of brewing extraction process. We're going to pour real aggressively until we get up to 300 grams. Now if you notice here, it's all, you don't even need a scale. You, you just have to have like a half centimeter, four millimeters of space there. Now, do nothing, just watch it. We're gonna pan the camera around. Look at this beautiful process of uh, the coffee dripping into the container and everything else. We're up to 46 seconds on the time. That includes the 20 seconds roughly for the saturation I did. It was a little longer with this kettle. So actually we're looking for a finish time of about two minutes 20, two minutes 25 total. That includes the initial pour. As you can see here, with the aggressive pattern, it creates this kind of cone shape to the, the coffee as well. And Hario believes that actually aids to the overall extraction process and prevents over extraction, which is something when all the coffee is flowing through the bottom of the pitcher, is something you want to avoid. So now this coffee is not being extracted from anymore. It's just sort of the central part. And here, we're at a minute 32 in. Looks like we're, we may hit our target time, which is sometimes a challenge. You have to adjust your grind to hit that drawdown time. Otherwise, once you, you got your grinder dialed in, it really is kind of a set it and forget it brewing method. There we are at one minute 50. Again, we're going for about two minutes 20, and that includes a 20 second uh, initial pour. So it'd be a two minute drawdown time total. We're two minutes now. As you can see, we're almost at the end. If you look in here, we're just at the last little bit. 210. 215. 
And look, it's just draining out now. Actually, I did pretty good here. 220, 225, 230. And there we go. The Harry O'Mugan hands-off pour-over maker from Harry O. It's not a V60.